Sitting with uh, John Orlando, you are the uh, Executive Vice President Worldwide Marketing and Business Development for Sixth Sense Media. And Sixth Sense does uh, mobile marketing and e-marketing? Uh, mobile engagement. Mobile engagement. Mobile, yes, that's right. Well, welcome. Thank you for doing this. Really appreciate you being yeah. here. Um, uh, let's talk about engagement right off the bat. How, how do you define mobile engagement? Well, uh, you know, to answer how you define mobile engagement, um, I like to use a term that we hear a lot about, which is m-commerce, mobile commerce. And if you think about it, um, before there can ever be the cha-ching, the, the money transaction, yeah. uh, you have to engage a consumer and you have to give them a call to action. So what we focus on is what are the best ways to actually engage a consumer over mobile, what are the ways that'll work, uh, what are the ways that don't work, and what are the values that mobile can bring that actually make that engagement a much better engagement than we find in digital marketing channels such as online or traditional. And I mean, is it is it a focus or is it a gap filler? You know what I mean? Is, is it something that that uh, that complements another marketing vehicle or, or can it stand alone? Can that kind of engagement stand alone? Uh, it, it can stand alone, but it's, it's a fantastic question. If you look at the um, the landscape of major marketing companies that deal with you know, the, the, the major brands, uh, consumer brands. Uh, you see a world that has started with traditional, it has moved to online. Um, we see, you know, the evolution of display marketing. We see all these different channels. We have social media, we've got all these tools. And so to some extent, um, what's very interesting to me is that mobile gets kind of thrown into the whole mix. Sure. And it's a very complicated one. It's not that hard to figure out what Twitter is. Uh, it's not that far hard to figure out what Facebook is. It's pretty darn hard to figure out what mobile really means right. and how to, how, how to integrate that into your multi-channel strategy. Um, at the end of the day, what we're finding is that the performance of mobile is shadowing many of the other channels. And so uh, marketers are now taking a very good look at, at, uh, at this evolving channel. And, and I believe it can stand on its own. And over time, uh, as we move to a screen that's you know, I always called it, you know, a point of sale in your pocket. Right. Um, you're going to spend a lot of time doing that, and that's going to become a very important channel. And it, you think it will be eventually turn the way that we do things today on its head? I think so. I think so. Um, you know, uh, there's been a lot of uh, in interesting uh, discussions about uh, behavior, especially over Black Friday and Cyber Monday, um, of, um, you know, um, uh, kind, of, kind of the yin and the yang, the, the yin where we, we, we participated, and I'd be happy to talk about that, is engaging um, shoppers over SMS in an inter interactive way, in a very targeted way. But there was also a lot of activity of what they called, you know, couch shopping, with people looking at opportunities to buy things on their mobile phones um, and doing a lot of searching and a lot of buying there. So, um, so I, I, I think, it, I think uh, mobile is going to change uh, behavior in multiple different ways. It's funny. I mean, you bring up two perfect examples, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, on-the-go SMS, driving people to a store mm -hmm. versus the sit-back experience, pull up a tablet, uh, browse and buy from your couch. That's um, right. And uh, are those both mobile experiences or is one more mobile than the other? Um, I, I actually think um, they're both mobile experiences and I think that, yes, a tablet uh, mimics online. Uh, right. that mimics a, uh, traditional a, 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 a traditional desktop yeah. experience. But um, you know, one of the things that we found is that um, targeting, which we spent a lot of time doing at Sixth Sense Media, um, you know, we're, 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 you can't, from a legal perspective, from a regulatory perspective, send anybody a text message unless they've opted in to want to get one. So that means that they've opted into a loyalty situation with your right. brand, and they're out and about, they're doing something, and bing, there it is. And if it's targeted and, 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 and relevant and contextually personalized, it's, the call to action is going to be powerful. At the same point, um, if you're expecting somebody to take a device, maybe this big, you know, an Android iOS device, um, and purchase something, e even in their home, they're going to have an existing relationship with that brand as well. So, so uh, I, you know, I, I think it's very continuous and it's very mobile. And um, uh, you know, the edge condition where it may look like a desktop experience um, to me is the one where it's not very valuable. It's the other ones that are yeah. truly valuable. Well, and do you see a, a transition point here where, where um, you know, right now what, what I get the sense of in this industry is we're driving engagement and we're driving transactions based on we're just moving money from one pot to another. So mm -hmm. what I would have bought on my computer, I'm now buying on my, on my uh, tablet. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a similar experience. 
Uh, but do you see where, where are we at that stage where there's actually new revenue being created as a result of engagement through mobile? Yeah, it's, it's another great question. So I've, I've been saying for quite some time that the whole online e-commerce experience has been about customer acquisition. It's finding right. uh, the new customer, and, and, and uh, but that customer was shopping. And, and so you stole some money from someone else, right? So obviously that, that, that market has grown, but it's showing signs of stabilizing as there's not a lot of new business out right. there because you know, customer acquisition is one marketing technique. What we're finding with mobile is that mobile is more about loyalty. And loyalty uh, is all about life cycle of your customer. Right. And it's about uh, bringing your customer through a relationship with you and finding opportunities where you can increase the value of that customer. Um, very interestingly, I want to cite a real world example. Um, we're, we worked with a, a particular retailer over uh, Black Friday who already had an existing um, mobile SMS program. Uh, what we brought to them was a location aware mobile hmm. SMS program. They had 300 stores across the US and what they wanted to do is at 8 a.m. in every time zone on Black Friday, send a message to people within 20 miles of the store, uh, incenting them to come into the store. Uh, the results of that program were 400% or 4x uh, the, the conversion rates of a standard SMS program. Incredible. So, 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 so they what, had the metrics to already say that this is what uh, this is what our baseline is. Yes, exactly. And then you guys came in and and, did and, 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 and we, we we issued their coupons to their store and we looked at the performance. And what it said was, those are the same guys that are out there. Yeah. They were all out there. If you had used one technique, you would have gotten this performance. But you didn't. You used a different technique, a targeted technique, a personalized technique. You sent the messages at the right time to the right people, and look what happens. So we look at that as newfound money. Right. That money was out there. It not wanted to be spent, spent yeah. not being spent. So, th so there are really tangible opportunities to go in through loyalty marketing, through engagement marketing, and find those high driving segments and, and work with them and, and also find those people that didn't respond and find a mechanism to get them to interact with your brand. So th this is really about new revenue creation. And, and is it about uh, broadcast or narrow casting with this technology? It's absolutely about narrow casting. It's, it's, it's micro campaigns. It's not the macro campaign. But how do you sell somebody on that? They say, listen, you're going to spend a lot of money on this campaign. Maybe it's not a lot of money, but you're going to spend some money on this campaign. And we're not going to hit 100,000 people. We're going to hit the right 100 people that are going to well, spend dollars. Well, it, it, it's all in the numbers, right? Yeah. I, I mean, if, if you, you we, we talk a lot in advertising about CPM, cost per thousand impressions, which is a very general uh, marketing uh, uh, technique. Yep. And then we talk about CPA, cost per action. Right. Uh, and when you look at affiliate-based marketing, which is more in the CPA world, uh, and loyalty marketing, you see that um, if the action is, I walked into your store and spent $100, versus I looked at an advertisement, mm -hmm. uh, you know, suddenly it becomes... <laughs> it's like perspective, it, right? Yeah, it suddenly becomes really interesting. Yeah. So even small amounts of people, which represent a highly targeted, segmented, you know, uh, group or vertical within your, 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 your broader loyalty base, um, if they're active and they're spending real money, that can be very valuable. No kidding. And, and, but how do you convince somebody? Or, or, or is it a point where convincing doesn't need to happen now? When you go to a customer, they, they understand this? Or no, no, convincing needs to happen. It's still education. Um, it, it's, it's, it's the traditional wedding cake. I, I, I'm doing this. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I believe you should be doing something way up here. Yeah. <laughs> but I, you can't see that yet. So I'm going to take you from here, which in, in our case right now, we're focused very much on moving from bulk SMS to highly targeted location aware SMS. Yeah. If I can take you on this trip and you see the results of that trip and then we start to work with you on collecting further data and segmenting tighter, uh, we, we, we put in product categories, we look at buying history, we look at who's bought and frequency, we start adding all that, you can get to that level. But it's, 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 it's a trip. We're, we're at the very basic, uh, you know, the, the basics of moving from, you know, sending email blasts uh, over SMS, if you will, to, to getting to a targeted uh, campaign. But it's so important because, you know, for some reason, this industry, web transitioning into mobile have accepted such a terrible click-through rate, such a terrible return rate, and, and they look at it as, you know, I got a two and a half percent click-through rate on that and yeah. it's supposed to be good right and it's not because right. you're not doing your job it's lazy marketing ultimately but what yeah. you're talking about is like we're gonna send out 10 
SMS messages to the 10 right people and all of them are going to buy. Right, right. I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, that's one-to-one -one marketing. Yeah. Let's say I'm sending one message to one person and it's the one they wanted. Yeah. Right? So, and then you back up, you know, you have one of those moments where you back up for 50 miles. Exactly. <laughs> you say, well, now I'm looking across the desert. How do I get to that one moment? But, but I, I believe... Um, the marketing uh, teams, the digital marketers that are out there today are looking at mobile um, more seriously. It's an evolution. Uh, I mean, I really feel as though we're, we're seeing the end of, you know, not the end of, but the, you know, we've, we've maxed email out. Yeah, we um, killed it. You know, and it took 10 years to do that, right? I mean, it took 10 years to get through that. And, and so how long is it going to take to get uh, interactive SMS over mobile? Um, you know, uh, into people's hands. The, the frustrating part for us is that uh, if you look at the consumer behavior in the U.S. in person-to-person -person text messaging, um, there's been some great reports out uh, recently. Uh, the Pew Institute did one, which said that uh, you know the demographics below 25 are, are, are you know doing like a hundred text messages a day, 3,000 a month, which puts us off the charts. Yeah. You know, even in a global perspective, yeah, in, in, in terms of performance. So. Everyone's out there ready to receive one of these messages. They know how to interact. The smartphone adoption that we've had in the U.S. Um, has been predominantly, uh, you know, it's, it's allowed people to understand how to text better. That's like the, the number one thing that they do. It's a great user experience. It's a little Full bloop keyboard. and yeah. bloop yeah. and bloop, right? I mean, uh, and they'll learn to do other things. But, uh, but um, you know, I, I believe marketers have to get, you know, a grip on this. And, and they're dealing with a lot of first generation solutions which, which are very generic right. and they've made the investment and we all know how business works. I make an investment, I'm working with a partner and some, now we've got 2.0 comes along. Yeah. Well, how do I embrace that? Yeah. John, thank you so all much. Right, thank I, you. A real pleasure. Yeah, might as well.